And a new adventure begins. Welcome to the channel with no catchphrase. Now, what I'm doing at the moment with my friend Tommy is we are unloading my new 1997 CBR900 RRV from the back of his van. Now, I bought this bike for the tidy little sum of £400. It's non running, it hasn't started in over three years, and it hasn't really been on the road or MOT'd since 2016. Experience in restoration or restoring a bike back to roadworthy condition, but me and my friend Pete together are going to give it a go. So stick around and um, let's see if we can get it on the road. So going around, obviously, this thing hasn't run for years. Cobwebs, his last MOT 216, wasn't it? Something 216 like hasn't run for about three years, apparently, it was running in the garage. so. There's surface rust all over, but that's not a problem. Not too bad. Um, we have a front wheel that is flipped. that's flat and a rear one. Tires will obviously need to be changed. There's a valve gone in that, so that needs to be that needs to be fixed up. But Pete does tires, so that's pretty handy. Mm. The cobwebs, we might leave them there because they're absolutely brilliant. The colour's yeah. fantastic. The fairing is all good. The tank's good, but there is some rust. Inside the tank, and so today the first thing we're going to do, and look at that, that is gunky and mucky as hell. Mm. First thing we're going to do today is we're going to get this tank off because I have ordered. Show, yeah, there, let's go. get the light in there. Probably can see the rust. There you go. You can just about see the rust. It's night time, by the way, so that's why obviously the light's not so great. So we're going to treat this, and I'm going to obviously film that, but that's going to be done with a mixture of um, white vinegar and um, lots of hard work. So that'll be done there. It's about three quarters rust from there, isn't it? Because he left it. So well, yeah, but yeah. Left it about three quarters about, yeah. full of fond, fuel. Fond, but then of course the brakes are obviously nothing going on there at all. So that will be obviously work to do. It does break, so they're not completely seized, but we need to do a complete fluid check. It does squeak nicely. It does squeak. The rear is locked on, which is why it makes so much noise. Pete's just got himself a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> By our wonderful assistant, Emma. Hello. Hello. So yeah, lots to do, and I'm sure we'll be finding things to do as we as we go along. I mean, I think a gerbil lived in it at one point. Uh, batteries. Something is, um, batteries kind of running, but it won't start the bike. It does it. turn over though. The bike does turn over. Um, and yeah, look, lots of surface rust, bits and pieces to to clean up completely. Rear shock may need to be replaced or rebuilt, but um, yeah, well, we'll get on with our first job, which is getting the tank off. <laughs> problem we found is there is no fuel reserve tap therefore we can't turn the fuel off therefore we have to find a way to it because obviously we need to get the tank off because as soon as we take the pipe off we're not being able to turn off the fuel tap it's just going to piss out well, everywhere. Well I have had fuel all over my hands already. Yeah <laughs> but, but there's three quarters of a tank we don't want that all over the floor yet. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. So as you can see yeah, there's, a, there's a screw in there and that's it that's what it well that's what was the the thing so this pipe down here so maybe we can find the end of that pipe and bring it out and use it as I said well, as a drain use that one myself but yeah let's have a look here 
So what we've done is very surgically, we've clamped that on there. You can see here, obviously, it's <laughs> there is no fuel. We just gained a lovely bit of fuel. There you go. And um, clamp that. Oh, a lovely smell of petrol. Right. So with the clamp in place, as you can see here, we have surgically made it possible to remove the tank. <laughs> and then we're going to look in here for the first time. And look at that. You've seen over there. And we've also seen that. Obviously, fork seals are completely gone, as you can imagine. So, oh, there are insects. There are all kinds of creatures in here. In the sun, they're extinct. We can undo that in a minute. Now it's swinging around. So there we go. There we go. Now we can get that. Okay. They don't look rusty, they don't look dirty. Oh, it looks clean in there, which is a good start. There we go, one of your folks are. find condition. It's a 13, it's a 12, a 14, but yeah. That's the smallest spam that I have in the set. And guess what it is? The one that I ain't got. You ain't got. Right. I don't think there's any spammers in there. Yeah, that's to disconnect the inner cable from the choke link shaft. Yeah, that's the outer cable. So we're going to slacken all four intake. So slacken the four tiny clamps secure in the carburetor intake rubbers to the cylinder head, mate. Um, that really, yeah. Nice. A bit of fuel coming out. I can see. Not on this side. Yeah, it's starting. Oh, yeah. It's starting. It's starting. She's a friggin'. Yes, we have a dribble of fuel dropping you. That's not the end of the world. Frick me. <laughs> so, wow. Right, we're there. We're, we're there. I've done it. Wow, oh, God. Well, well let's hope we've done it. It snaps off after the thing. Right. Oh, Excellent. Oh, we've got a. Yeah, success. That one's loose. Oh, the top one. Top one there as well. Yeah, just wondering what was what was going to give way. Yeah. And after the engine comes out, he will the bike. It's not moving anymore. How are you supposed to take this off? Let's get the dead spider out. Show, show the camera. Show the camera, dead spider. Oh, dead spider. Dead spider. <laughs> spider man. Right, now, uh, okay, we need to unplug this. So that's only a plug, that's all that they unplug, so I see in the... What's that, that one in there? Well, it's either that way it goes to release the plug. Yeah. So if you hold that... Ah, there, there you go. go. That's what happened. And? So, okay. so now we've got to turn it on. No. So, as you can see, that's not working. Yeah, so as you can see, the carbs are off. They did not want to come off. So a bit of brute force and a metal pole. Look, notice one interesting thing. Nice and clean and shiny. These screws are rusty. Clean and shiny, clean and shiny. I wonder if that meant that it has not been running on this cylinder. The filter, that's obviously needs to be clean. But there we are. Quite a lot done for the first night. I'm gonna get some tissue paper to, toilet paper to bung that up there. Look at the state of it. If you're not, it will look good. Yeah. So here we are on day two. <laughs> Mayor Pete, hello. So all we've done at the moment, as you know, yesterday we pulled off the carbs because we're going to clean those, and we're going to do first, yeah. yes, and that was fun, mm. as you'll see. 
Um, and today we're going to clean the carbs, but we're also going to do the plugs. I think we said we're going to do the plugs first. More yeah. plugs. Do the plugs first. Which the ones of the Japanese have got these intricate ways of getting that in there for definite. So you yeah. Now you got to remember the reverse order. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go in there like that. Like so that. So it's got well, that way around. Yeah, so. We've got it on film. Yeah. So. so yeah. <laughs> The fan spin, isn't it? I'm sure we saw the, yeah, the fan spin is that's all right. <laughs> cool. You got your wobble joint? With the marvels at the wobble joint. An extension. We don't have a body tape. to try a magnet. Oh, you did, oh, you did, oh, you did. Ah. Ta da! Is that it? Okay. Oh. That's a look as bad as I was expecting. Too bad, yeah, considering I was expecting the worst, but yeah. Ooh, right now that has proved an interesting thing because that one is that one's rusty, which is what we said about, wasn't it? And we said the number was. three wasn't working. Yeah, we reckon. Look, that's very rusty, but that's on the outside though. So why is that rusty? So that means that's got wet somehow. Yeah. But the internal bit's fine because it was tight enough to. Makes it very rusty on the outside, which is interesting. <laughs> well, the plot Maybe thickens. At this. There you go. Ta-da! At least they look similar on the inside. So an interesting fact is plug three, which corresponds with that rather rustyish part of the uh, on the um, coverettes, is also rusty here. They're very they're a bit corroded, they're a bit crap. Look at that one there. Not focusing very well. I do apologise. Uh, well, okay. Uh, I'm filming, so Pete is just going to. So we have, as it turns out, straight out of the box. A nice snug gap. Nice snug. It's straight out of the box. Nice glorious. glorious. That's a zero eight, is it? Zero point eight. Yeah. Zero point eight. Perfect. Number two. Oh, it's gone in already. It's falling in the hole. I think we're going in. There we go. That felt like we might be getting somewhere. It's now. So we have changed the spark plugs. We've given it a superficial clean. Showing in there again now. We have the HTLs. We managed to get that annoying piece of plastic. Yep. <laughs> this, this, this plastic thing here, which scoops air in. Yeah, it nearly did turn blue again. Took us about five hours yeah. okay so this is going to go on next rubbery bit um things that we're going to have to do Just these are absolutely the knackered cables, yeah, yeah absolutely knackered been pinched up here so they really do need a now obviously a whether it will fire or fall we've had an interesting um discovery when pulling out the spark plugs with the third one being rusty so that's going to be interesting. That that, that might be that I found that these may not have been pushed, pushed down, down fully, so I've made sure and that might correspond pushed. to the rust that you've, you've seen on the video of um, one of the carbs that seemed a bit dry compared to the others. But anyway, new plugs are in. It's a there's a few less there's a few less dead rats in there. <laughs> so now we're going to get this funny thing on here, and uh, then we are the next job is going to be we're going to properly clean the carbs, like open them up. So. See you soon. Stay Bye. Tuned.